I became a researcher for two main reasons. The first one is that I never believe anything that anybody tells me. I very early in life realized that perception is probably not the best way to guide life and that evidence was a much better way by which to make decisions. But the other, perhaps more important reason why I became a researcher is the inspiration, and this is very sincere, that I've gotten from my patients and from my students. A glaucoma is the leading cause of irreversible blindness worldwide and the second leading cause of blindness in our community. It's a disease that affects the nerve or the transmission cable between the eyeball and the brain. Glaucoma tends to rob your peripheral vision to the point that you lose all vision. Age-related macular degeneration and macular degeneration in general affects a different part of the eye. It is the part that takes into the light and starts processing it to send it back to the brain. And what's so frightening about macular degeneration is overnight you can lose that vision and it can become permanent. I'm very fortunate in that the Ivy Eye Institute is now the largest comprehensive eye institute in Canada. We have 52,000 dedicated square feet and my laboratory is actually attached. So I'm collaborating there with researchers from both the science faculty as well as the Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry. In the basic science lab, we actually take building blocks out of the eyes called cells, we place them in tissue culture, and then we on purpose try to stress them out and then rescue them. So the goal there is to try to understand some of the mechanisms of these diseases, to test our current treatments and to see if we can devise better treatments. We have become, without intent, internationally known for our research in the area of selective laser trabeculoplasty. This is a laser-based treatment that can be used to lower the intraocular pressure in patients with glaucoma. Our research has shown that the laser trabeculoplasty may actually be most effective as a primary treatment. It would be fantastic if during my lifetime we could find out what really causes either glaucoma or macular degeneration or ideally both. Our current treatments are good, but obviously they're not great because people are still going blind. So if we could do that one little thing that um, can contribute to understanding these diseases better, it would be a great achievement and something that future vision sciences that we're training can act upon and continue to research.